Welcome back to Danganronpa V3. Last time, we had a, uh, some nice, nice free time with some friends. You know, um, whatever Miu, whatever happened with Miu. We, we, not, we do not speak of that in this stream. Or maybe we do. But only uh, behind closed doors. Uh, we also hung out with... Who did we hang out with? We hung out with a lot of people. Kokichi! That's right. Very picky, very picky guy. He didn't like my presence. I mean, I totally got it right the first time. If you're watching on the YouTube, I, 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 I jump cut it. I mean, I got it right. And apparently we got more free time. Oh yeah, we started working out with Kaito. That was fun. I did 50 push-ups. That's how much I used to be able to do in real life. <laughs> and it's totally gonna be a regular thing where we hang out with him. He's not going to die ever. I, 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 I swear it. I swear it. You can mark my worms. It's the fifth free time, right? I think fourth? Fifth? I didn't count. We hung out with a lot of people. More than I expected. But, um... If this may be the last one of this chapter, I want to say I want to hang out with either Angie or Korekio or Ryoma. I think those are my top three right now. Or, I want, well, my top one would actually be Maki, but she's just preoccupied with her room, so I guess we're not going to ever talk to her ever again. Oh, makes me sad. But, ah, Kaito did 20 push-ups, this is true. Cheater. He cheated not only the game, but himself. He didn't grow. He took a shortcut. He gained nothing. Nothing was gained and nothing was risked. <sighs> Got your number, Kaito. I'm not hanging out with you today. I already did. Oh yeah, we did hang out with him last time. Alright, alright. Kaito Bromota. Yes, that is his real name, isn't it? Hang out with Shuichi. I'm already doing it. <laughs> So yeah, what are on the shelves? Monokumas. They've been on the... They've been scattered around the school. You know, you can find them hidden in the grass. I don't know what they do. In the previous games, they would give you coins, but I'm getting an adequate amount of coins just slapping the crap out of everything. Uh, so actually, let's figure out who to hang out with. Let's see who's around. Who do, do you, you, you guys don't even have any preference? Between the, the ones I mentioned? Angie, uh, and Korakio, and, well, maybe, maybe Kibo. We have never hung out with him. I don't know. There's not that many people available, actually. Hmm. Huh. I guess Angie or Korakio. Or Ryoma. Yeah, I saw him, too. Will you try the Death Road of Despair again? Doesn't it get harder the more you more people you lose because you have less lives? I don't know. That, that was pretty bad last time. I don't even get save states. This isn't a Kaizo. It's not a Kaizo trap. Uh, Kiel Kazuya loves all three. Oh! Well then. That, that's, the decision is still hard for me then. Right, we gotta vote for Angie then. Ryoma. We gotta vote for Ryoma. Oh. Mm. Okay, now it's between Angie and Ryoma. Eeny, meeny, miny. It's hard to chose. Alright, well, Ryoma's over here, so I'm just gonna go with my gut. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna hang out with him. Ryoma! I do feel a deep connection with Ryoma. Ryoma. Europa. Europa. The, mo the moons of Saturn, Jupiter. Where is that boy? Ryoma, where you be? Trying to find you. He, for all I know, he might be in the grass. Wait a minute, was that him? No. I'm seeing things. For all I know, he might be in the grass because it's tall enough to hide him. In the perfect place to plan your murder. Huh. He was out here, wasn't he? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where'd he go? He might be in the grass. That is what I said. Rianji. Andor. Edgy boy versus cult girl. He's not edgy, he is cool. Alright, well, if I can't find him, then we might just go with Angie instead. I, I literally don't know where he is. Um, over here? This could be a problem. He's there. He's by the pool. I didn't see him. Check the map. Maybe he's inside? 
Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, no. Ryoma, no. The pool might be too deep. I'm just looking out for his health. I'm not, I, don't, I don't need to make tight jokes. He's a cool dude. I love him. He's got a prison shackle. I never noticed that. You gotta look down. I found him. I found him eventually. I'm not cutting that out of the YouTube video. Not this time. As much as possible, I want to not have to do more editing. Your face looks more dependable. To not focus on the past in a place like this. I don't get it. Should I hang out with Ryoma for a while? Yes. Uh, Hector likes this guy. I like him too. I used to play tennis so much as a kid. This guy could show me a thing or two. Yeah. Maybe if I spend time you... Maybe if I spend time you as you are now. Keep no. finding all the typos. No. Maybe if I'm thinking that. If I'm thinking that, I've still got a ways to go. Maybe you, if you... I spent some time with Ryoma. Grandma... He's too cool for grammar. <laughs> Three cool, five me. Grammar is you. He's been playing too much Baba. That was a fun stream with Nash last night. Uh, I wish it wasn't so late, but... It is what it is. Ryoma and I grew a little closer to Nay. Wouldn't you like to give Ryoma a present? Definitely. Not saving before this time. Alright, what we got? Tennis related. Or maybe killing people with the tennis ball related. There's gotta be something. Uh, I miss playing this game, even though I... Even though I played it just on Tuesday. Every time I go more than three days without playing it. I'm like, how do I how, how do stream? Give him a sword. Okay. Okay, enough with the sword. You might actually like it, though. Give me the fire. Hello. No, nothing's tennis related. Laser gun. Why is it that, like, everything that's Kaito's is easy to find? Easy to figure out. Maybe the hand grips. Yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a little bit of a sporty dude. Height inducing pills. Okay. Okay, now chat's making jokes about this height. He's fine the way he is. Huh. Huh. Maybe a wearable blanket so he can keep warm and cozy. Workout clothes. That's pretty sporty. Feelings of ham. Because, you know, why not? People like food, don't they? Heel is as short as he is, so you need some pills, too. Ooh. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> I'm actually not sure. Everything's pretty specific to other people. Pig? Pig! It's a book about raising domestic animals for meat. I don't know if Ryoma would like that. Machine parts, animals, teens... Stories, beret. Let's try giving him some food, actually. People like food, I think. Oolong tea. Ginger tea. Just give him some ketchup. Just raw ketchup. Yeah, let's go with something sporty, actually. Hand grip. Before I wait too long. <laughs> oh, you've got good taste. Oh, thank you, Ryoma. Huh. Avoided having to reload. I hope I can return the favor, but I'm not great at giving gifts. Hey. Well, why did you come to talk to me? You probably just want to hear about how I took down that mafia, right? Huh? What? That's not what I was planning at all. Ah, uh, you read me like a book. Or... Really? You got a nosy looking face. What about my nose? I'm a detective. What do you expect? Are you worried about whether or not I still care about tennis? A little bit. For some reason, that's another thing busybody seem to care about. No. No, I really wasn't trying to. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you, Ryoma. Oh, is that so? You still uh, so to go. I was the only one who was worried. <laughs> I've still got a ways to go. Well, don't put yourself down. Can we just like talk and be friends? Ryoma's nose. His nose knows. That's a pretty button nose. Well, uh, well, to be honest, I can't say that I have no interest in your ultimate talent. Well, that is honest. 
Aren't you a detective? Such honesty might be seen as foolish, you know. <laughs> ah, I suppose that's true, yes. But, but, out of respect for that honesty, I don't mind talking about tennis for a bit. Huh? Really? Yeah. That's what I said. Didn't you hear me? I just kind of didn't believe it. Tennis is a very poetic sport. I bet Ryoma is all about it. <sighs> Love means nothing in tennis. And my life. <laughs> now then, what should I talk about specifically? Ryoma looked downward in contemplation, yet his expression remained happy. It seems as though Ryoma hadn't lost his passion for tennis. Aww. He puts on an act like it's not a big deal, but clearly, he must really be struggling. Then... How about you tell me a little about your friends from the tennis club? Hmm. My friends from tennis club? Friends. Then... Uh, the one who sticks out the most is that one guy. Huh? Uh, who? Yeah. Our team captain. I do regret that I was never able to break his zone. Uh, um... His zone? He's really good at protecting the net, is he? A, st a skill where he can stay in a single spot and continually... Continue no continually, not continuously. Return the ball. That is a very good skill in tennis, especially at the net. Huh? Strong net game. Uh, you kind of have to be tall to have a good net game, but if anybody can do it, it's Ryoma. Oh, whoa! You can do that? You don't have to run. That's what I tried to do, even though I failed. I was just too lazy. Huh? Not me. Our captain was the one who could do that. You gotta have, like, really long limbs if you can do that. I was called an ultimate, but compared to them, I've still got a ways to go. There was also an upperclassman in the club who was considered a genius. He developed counter moves that only he could possibly pull off. He was always smiling, but you could never quite tell what he was thinking. Oh, speaking of that, there was another upperclassman. He made us drink these weird drinks. They were so nasty. I thought I was gonna die. Well, what are they? Protein coffee. Oh, that's, that sounds pretty good, actually. Huh. What do you think I am? Some kind of ogre? Huh? It was that bad, huh? Yeah. You said they were made of vegetable juice, but anyone could tell they weren't normal. Hmm. I see. Your school had some unique players. <laughs> yeah. I suppose. Certainly wasn't boring. Out of all the people to be leveled ultimates, how come Ryoma was the one? If he really claims that there were more better people than him. I think he's just humble. There's no way. Then again, this, if the ultimates aren't being labeled by the school in this game, who did? That's something to think about. There's no hope's peak, as far as I know. But it's a place that I've got nothing to do with anymore. Uh, um... Ryoma. Sorry. I was talking too much. You probably got bored listening. No, no, I love tennis. Ryoma's a big Prince of Tennis reference. Is he? I never watched that anime, even though... I, I watched, like, one episode of it. And when, like, the dude threw his racket at the net, bouncing it off of the pole so that it would hit the ball. Yeah, yeah, that's anime tennis. I don't know why I never got into it. I loved that. That was amazing. What if Monokuma did it? He would. We still don't know if all these memories that we have are really our pasts or like fake memories that Monokuma just put in us. I'm, 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 I'm still not letting go of the possibility. Maybe they picked Ryoma because of his mafia backstory. Make it more interesting. Sorry I wasted your time. See ya. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, right. My bad about earlier, when I said you had a nosy looking face. No. That's alright, Ryoma. It doesn't bother me a bit. See ya. <laughs> Is that so? Well, see ya. Aww. Let's talk again sometime, Ryoma. Maybe if we, f if we find a tennis court. We did find a tennis court. We could play! I'll challenge you. Singles. I watched Ryoma walk away and return to my room. Wholesome. A wholesome experience. A little bit the opposite of dealing with Miu, but that was enjoyable in its own way. Ryoma is a good boy. The best boy. Another free time! Wow! There's still some time left. Or is there?
I guess not. Huh? I guess that's Kaito, but is he here to train already? Doesn't seem like nighttime. Uh, weren't we supposed to train at night? It's a little early. What's on my shelves? I, I answered that question. I'll say it again. They're little monokumas that you find out on campus. Uh, they're collectible. There's apparently like five per chapter, but I don't... I'm not doing a very good job at finding them. I'm not doing a very good job at all. They're not that important, I feel. In the last game, they gave you coins. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll find them as I see. I got three. Yeah, but the, like, I, I missed three in, this, in the first chapter. Who knows how much I'm missing in this chapter. There's one every trial. But I've only done one trial. <laughs> Replace the ding-dong with Discord pings. I don't want any more anxiety, please. Then, the moment I open the door... Hi, Kaito. What? What? what what's going on? Sh Shuichi! Run! Huh? Huh? What happened? Damn. Don't just stand there. Run! Hurry! He's coming! What happened? Who's coming? What? Gah! Kaito risked a glance down the hallway and immediately stiffened up in fear. Hallway? Outside is like a big old room. <laughs> Damn it! He's already here! Hurry! Shuichi! Run! Shuichi! If we make... If we both make it out of this alive, let's train again. Don't talk like that. That's a death flag. Oh. Uh -oh. Who is it? It's not Ryoma, is it? Are you scared of him? Uh. Kaito! Kaito gave his ominous warning, then ran away at lightning speed. Huh? What? What are you talking about? I peeked through the gap in the doorway to discover what Kaito was so terrified by. What? What? <laughs> Who angered Gonta? Who smashed all his bugs? They will pay. They will pay for messing with the good boy. He's gone Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Broly form. Huh? We knew he was a Dragon Ball reference. Damn. That's... Bang, bang. Gonta. Isn't it? He looks... Different. What's going on? It looks like he's checking each room. He'll be on my door soon. I don't know what he's up to, but it's probably better not to be here. Uh. Kia's looking at Gonta's booty. I mean, it's not Rantaro's booty, but unfortunately, unfortunately, that's gone. Careful to avoid alerting Gonta, I quietly tiptoed down the hall. I stealthily made my way to the courtyard. I snuck around. Uh-oh. Who did this? Was it Kokichi? He's been hanging around him too long. What was that all about? What was Gonta up to? Well... Yeah. <laughs> from the looks of it, you ran away from Gonta too. Why? Ryoma! <laughs> the super booty. Eh, it charged up, didn't it? What now? I don't know why, but... It seems like he's gone into a rage and is trying to catch everyone. We should probably run farther away. You're right, Hector. He's kind of just in the room right behind us. <laughs> he was charging right at me at top speed. And you outran him? Wow, Ryoma's a speedy speed boy. Huh? He threw himself right at you, but he managed to get away? That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I used the Shukuchi method. A technique from my tennis days, like a flash step, you know. Oh. Of course, I've gotten rusty since back in the day, but you've still got a ways Gonta to go. still got a ways to go. He won't be able to catch me like that. Literally, literally far enough away that it's a ways to go. Shukuchi, Shukuchi, Kuchi Kuchi. Vinny, thanks for the host. Never heard of him. Ryoma must have been an incredible player back in the day. Is that real? I don't think that's real. I only know American tennis terms. Wah. Who wouldn't run unless they wanted to commit suicide? I know. Maybe they would, at the last second, pretend to be a bug. That'll work. Can't Shuichi just stay in his room? Gonto won't break down doors anyway. I feel like he could. They don't want to risk it. It's funny to imagine Ryoma being quick. Hey, he like darts across the room like a like a like a little like a little roadrunner. 
by the way. And I'm sorry. For saying something so uncool, like, I've got no reason to live. Ryuma, what you did was pretty selfless back there. Selfless. I admire it, honestly. If it wasn't for the fact that Kaida got a little bit too overzealous, it would have been a valid out, honestly. Shikuchi is the Japanese word for the power of teleportation. Huh. He's got instant transmission. How much of this chapter is just Dragon Ball? Huh? Uh, no, you don't have to apologize. However, I'm gonna say this so it's clear. I'm not so stupid that I'd waste my life. I... I only said something like that because I was jealous of you. Why? Jealous? Yeah. If I had a stronger attachment to life, I could try my best alongside you all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Suddenly, Ryoma ducked down, taking cover. Don't leave me with him! When I looked to find what had scared Ryoma, I saw... There you are. Hey, where are you going? I don't like it when he sounds serious. Hi, big guy. You, you want to you go look for bugs? We can go look for bugs. Here, let's let's go to your, your ultimate room. There's plenty of bugs there. You can be nice and calm and happy. <laughs> huh? Gota? Sorry, Shuichi, but I'm gonna run. I've still got things I need to do. You're not going after us? No. Gonta no can let you leave. Sorry, but it's for your own good. What are you doing? Oh. Yeah, I found out later that the eyesight thing that Gonta said was actually really, really good and not really, really bad. You'll see us from anywhere. Gonta charged at us like a runaway train. And then, ah, where's Brad? He can catch this runaway train. Ha! Huh? I lost consciousness. I didn't even feel the impact, didn't have time to scream. My world turned dark. And in this pitch back world, I thought to myself, this is what it's like to die. <gasps> I can't die yet. Who, who's saying this? Uh. <sighs> Oh, hi. Morning, sleepyhead. You're finally up, Shuichi. You put him up to this, didn't you? What have you been telling him, Kokichi? Why you do this? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. One this later. Bang, bang. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> Are you gonna ask, who am I? And where am I? That's wrong. Well, you're definitely Shuichi Saihara. And this place yes, is... Yes, that's it. Hmm, I guess hell. Really? Hell? I shook my head confused. I looked around. Hmm. We're in the bug room. Why is there a ability to respond to things? I like it. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with that. Is, is this... Slap him. Slap his shit. Oh, no. Why is everybody hiding in here? Were we all caught by Gonta or what? Oh, you're awake. This is the ultimate entomologist's research lab. Huh? The ultimate entomologist's lab? Why? Oh. Well, I remember. I was attacked by Gonta and then... That's correct. What did happen? Something about this room just bugs me. The same is true of the rest of us. We were all seized by Gonta and brought here. Um... But Shuichi's the only one who got knocked out. By the way... Gonta apologized for that. Apparently he couldn't slow down in time when he tried to grab you. Oh, you were trying to protect me. He just protected me a little bit too hard. Why? What is this anyway? Why did Gonta do this? Oh my... It's because of that guy. He was provoked by... That guy! Kokichi? My eyes followed where Sumigi was pointing. <laughs> There's no use trying to escape. Gonta will just catch you again. Why are you... What? I bet it was him. What are you doing? Hold on, let me talk to everybody else. It's no use! Kokiroch. Ah, uh, yes, he belongs with all the bugs then. I, I couldn't stop Gonta. Not even with my Neo Aikido. His power is far greater than my Neo Aikido. Now who's, now who's the degenerate male? 
Wait, that doesn't make sense. I hope not you. Say. What are Kokichi and Gonta's true aim gathering us all together in this room? That's what I'd like to know. Not right now, though. After I talk to everybody else. I do not think Gonta would ever decide on his own to capture us. What is Kokichi trying to accomplish by taking advantage of Gonta's naivete? We must do it. Regardless, I cannot forgive his nonchalant attitude about using people. No, yeah, I, I understand you have a grudge against Kokichi Kibo. It's not unwarranted. You gotta be the bigger man, robot guy. I'm not being robophobic. They need to look past Gonta's mistakes. <laughs> hmm, maybe I could have escaped this if I trust my insects. That's terrible. This conversation is going nowhere. Why did it have to be this room? It gives me the creeps. Maybe if you cosplay a bug, then Gonta will leave you alone, Smoogie. Camouflage. N no. Ultra, you go into the Super Saiyan Ultra Insect Mode. <laughs> Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? <laughs> <laughs> He's so simple-minded. Um... As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs. Or something like that. So that means... And that's why we're all here. Welcome to the mandatory insect meet and greet. Did you do this just because you thought it was funny? Oh, Gonta thought up the name, so if you don't like it, voice your complaints to him. That's terrible. You're terrible. You tricked Gonta. Right? Isn't it great? Only an evil supreme leader like me could do something so evil. Kokichi. Kokichi, why are you doing this? I was bored. Ah. You're not, this is nothing to do with the motives? Oh, it is. He's just about to say it. Everyone should have a grudge on him. At this point, yes. Kokichi, best worst boy. What? <laughs> Hector wants Kokichi to be the first to die. It's a bit late for that, but who knows? Oh, I thought we could throw ourselves a little screening party with all our videos. See? With all you here, exchanging our motive videos wouldn't be that difficult at all. <laughs> and I want to see your videos too, so I figured we could all binge watch them together. Please, wait! D do you know what happened if you do that? Um... Um, everyone will know their motive and a killing will be more likely to happen? But... But I like playing on mean difficulty. Also, I don't run from battles in RPGs either. Wow, what a masochist. I bet you haven't played Shin Megami Tensei 4. I want to win this killing game, so I'm not going to run from it. I'm going to crush it. You do know this means it'll kill people. He probably does. How exciting. That'll be way less boring, don't you think? Huh? What the hell does that mean? See? Ugh. Strange journey and impossible difficulty. He's never played it. I tried to warn you guys. I told you that we shouldn't cooperate with each other. No, this is just giving me more reason to not cooperate with you. Come on, man. <laughs> Let's binge watch anime and Minoke streams instead. Yes, Persona 4. Oh, no. Carlos is playing Persona 4 on Mean. He's, he's been at it for like two years now because he's stuck. It's very hard. Plus, if I'm going to do this, then I got to enjoy myself and just go all the way. If the thought of playing a death game doesn't excite you. What? Mike, thanks for the host. How you doing? If the thought of playing a death game doesn't excite you, you'll never win. Understand? I don't want to win. I want to survive. Strangely, I could detect no evil in his smile as he said that. It was an innocent smile, like a frolicking child. I thought that said like a effing child. Uh, er Although perhaps it's just another lie. Oh look, everyone's here. Having a good night, everyone? Hope you are. I'm talking to both the people in the game and the people in chat, by the way. Thank you for waiting. Going to bring Himiko and Angie. What? Huh? Himiko and Angie too? Oh, that's right. Last time Himiko got converted to Atuaism. I hope it's working out for her. I mean, as long as Angie's taking all the donations, it doesn't really matter since we don't buy anything here. Except with coins. Oh, Oh man! And I 
was about to take a break too. I just finished all the prep work. Mm. Yeah. What's the meaning of this? Yumiko! Yumiko, are you okay? My saliva makes injuries heal faster. That's... That's an anime or something. That's not... Right, true. Yeah? Piece of cake! Does your face hurt? Do you want me to spit on your face and make it feel better? How about your tongue? Stop it. No. Oh, wow. Yumiko is fighting back. I... I mean, good for her, but that's kind of mean now. I feel bad for Denko. Hey! Uh, hey, uh, hey, Gonta! Are these the only ones you brought back from the gym? Akane, Akane believes in the power of spit? Was I don't remember that from D2. Ah, it's been so long. I feel like I heard somebody say that. I think Angie said that, maybe. That's not how health works. You might infect it. <laughs> mm. Oh, Kurumi at gym, but she tell Gonta she too busy. Mm -hmm. And, huh? And you just let her go? Atua has spoken. Atua says Karumi fulfills any request someone makes of her. Like a mommy! Hey! Uh, she's not a mom, though. At least not yet. What? Wait, what request? Uh... I requested that she sew the curtains. I don't think even Gonta can disturb her. Sorry, sorry. Not even Gonta's strong enough to overcome Karumi. That's scary. What is Karumi hiding? There's a strength we can't even imagine. Wow. Hmm. Huh. Well, I guess at least one of you is worthy of being called an ultimate. By the way. Well, nothing we can do about her. Are the others still hiding somewhere? Um. Oh, going to see Miyu, but going to face get red hot. So going to know could bring her. The, does Miyu fluster going to? That's kind of adorable. And I could totally see that happening. Oh no. Gota, did Miu bully you? Don't let her do that. She's just kidding. Wow. Oh. Oh. Gonta lost the fight against Kirumi because she's the mom and he's the kid. You know what? I believe this. She probably just mom to talk him down. We'll go later, sweetie. Hmm? Your face got hot? You mean you were hot in her trail, right? <sighs> No, um, she used her, what she call it, secret woman weapon, and then... But... Anyway, this enough people, right? Insect meet and greet is off to smashing start! Wait, what about, what was that about a weapon? Uh, sorry, excuse me? Maybe... We're just gonna let that go? Yeah, sure! This is good enough. We, we should move on to the main event anyway. I now suspect that the people who aren't in this meeting are the most likely to be involved in the next killing. Ah, shoot. It could be happening as we speak. I don't like this. You can't! Gota, don't be deceived! He just used you to abduct us all! Huh? Huh? Really? Nuh-uh. Yeah, yeah, yes. Been hanging around him too long. No! This is for the insect meet and greet. I like bugs even more than you do, Gonta. Huh? Oh, more than Gonta? Amazing! You like bugs that much? Oh dear. It would appear further argument is a useless endeavor. Hey, hey! Now, Gonta, go ahead and teach them just how wonderful bugs are. Starting with this coquish cut croak roach right here. Ah. Uh, I gotta run an errand, but I'll be back. Don't let them leave, okay? Why are you exempt from this? Sorry? All you right. stay here! If they try to leave, it means you gotta really show them why bugs are so great! Hmm. Uh huh. Got it. Could it be. Wait, you're leaving? Yeah. Of course. Someone's gonna break into your rooms to get the goods. Right. What do you mean, break in? You got a lockpick? We were never safe? That makes me feel better about my situation. <laughs> yeah. You're pretty sure all of them could ar argue Kokichi and persuading Gonta if they tried. Uh, unfortunately, my argument skills are only good in the middle of a trial. That's how protagonists are. Not the, not the guards. Not my goods. <laughs> Lockpicking is a cinch for an evil supreme leader like me. What? What? You're going to enter a girl's room without permission? If I he must. doesn't care. Not Kokichi. It seems I must be the one to take care of this. 
with my talent, Kokiji, I will stop. You're so dumb. Yeah, yeah, I don't have time to listen to a robot. Robophobic? Um, Let's see, it's exactly 9 p.m. right now. I should be back by nighttime. Well, have fun with the bugs till then. This is not how I imagined spending my free time. Kokichi then left the classroom. Gonta? <laughs> Gonta, could you please let us out right now? Do it. Do it. They want those mono cub pads. They're stealing. Okay, they're just gonna. He's just gonna steal everyone's underpants. He's here to play island mode or whatever, school life mode. <laughs> it appears we are caught in Kokichi's trap. What should we do? What should we do? At this rate, it'll end up as a Moda video screening party. My my Mio Akito is no match for going to superhuman strength either. We're talking about this right in front of him. Hey everyone! We still have a chance when Kokiji comes back. That's when I will take care of this. Everyone, just please endure it until then. Huh? It, it, endure it? Everyone, uh. play nice! Okay, now we start the fun, fun insect meet and greet. Oh. Oh my. I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I fell asleep. Didn't have the all night mask. When I had first woken up, Kokichi told me this was hell. It appears that wasn't a lie. Oh. Rip, rip us. What? I didn't know he was the pain. He's releasing the locusts, the bees. That was, that was horrible. Get to the Kibo, do something. Deploy an anti insect sonar. I don't know. This would be hell. I don't like this. I don't I don't want this. Not the bees! Not the bees! The incredible specimens each gave us the appearance of vigor and vitality. And they were exactly as vigorous as they looked. With our escape route blocked off, all we could do was run around the room in a panic. Oh good. Ding dongs. This is not a meet and greet. This is this is a swarm! Ah, the nighttime announcement played, but it didn't save us. I can't believe you've done this. Gonta was the master of all the bugs. I don't know. How has he done this? He is the bug whisperer. He's the roach coach. The insect meeting read continued without mercy. I never thought I'd say that in my life. What happened, Kokichi? You said you'd be back by nighttime. Is that just a pile of bugs? Is someone in there? I bet Himiko's in there. That's why Tenko's going to save her. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's her foot. You can see Himiko's foot sticking out of it. Himiko, no! Rip. Ah, oh no! Himiko is being buried alive by insects! <laughs> this is not okay. This is not... Nyeh. Himiko, hold on! A body has been discovered! No, they're gonna eat all the flesh. No! Actually, I should not think about that. That sounds horrible. <laughs> What's up, Viv? That's a bit too personal. Finally, when our bodies were completely exhausted and sleep was nearly upon us. I don't like that. It covered me in the bugs. He finally came back. Everyone did. Gonta kills everyone. Whoa. Ah, there are bugs everywhere. How nasty. I, I mean, how nice. Oh. Did you not know this was gonna happen? He no. knew. Kiel was so antsy the first time you encountered this scene. <laughs> okay, stream's over. Ooh. Oh, you come back, Hokishi. Come, we have fun. Everyone, play nice. We're gonna have so much fun. Hmm. You know, as much as I love to do that, Maybe we should call it a day, huh? See? The bugs look really tired, and a gentleman knows how to do things in moderation, you know? You're right. Oh, going to understand. Hey, hey. No, going to listen to everything he believes. Believes everything he listens to. So you clean up while I take care of business with the others. Kokichi's hands were full of the several cubs pads. <sighs> we're doing this. I think we're doing this. Imiko. What does Atua say about all this? Yeah. You barely converted. Yeah. What, yeah. What's going on? 
the last thing I remember is Gonta releasing the bugs. Maybe it was better that you got attacked and you passed out. Did she pass out from fear? Oh, I can understand that. No, you see, um, the real Himiko is now gone. This is actually like a million ants. Million ants. Configured into the shape of Himiko for placing her. I'm on to you. Himiko, the ultimate amnesiac. It's a body double. It's a ditto. Uh. Rip, Himiko. Good thing it fools Monokuma, or else we'd have another trial. Uh huh. So he really did go get them Cubs pads. Or did. Did someone say. <laughs> ditto? <laughs> what a divine time! My island is full of creepy crawlers. This many bugs doesn't bug me. Don't, 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 don't. I suppose. Everyone! These aren't the same species that you are used to on Hawaii or wherever, are they? Well, everyone have fun time meeting and greeting the bugs? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I suppose I did. Wow. Shuichi is just being nice so he doesn't incur Gonta's wrath. Good! Now everyone like bugs! Y yes I can't deny it. Y yes Now I don't have to ever do that again. Yes, that's it. More bugs hatching real soon. Let's have fun time meeting and greeting new bugs. I don't want the larva. Not the larva. Somebody get Timon and Pumbaa out here. We need to clean up. A we moep. Is is Tinko broken? I don't want to see another bug for a very long time. Oh, I was I was looking at the bugs. Wow, game, that's mean. Calling Tenko a bug cage. I think she actually is broken. Arr. Hold on, I can fix her. Ah, uh, no. I'm still okay. As a disciple of Neo Aikido, it'll take more than this to break my composure. Hey! Ah! Tenko! There's a big old bug on your back. <laughs> Wait! C calm down, Tenko! I frantically swatted the bug off her. Don't do that! Gonta's gonna see! Oh. Oh. I've never seen her with that sprite. It hurts my soul. Oh. No. It's okay. There were bugs everywhere. It's no wonder you... Degenerate male! I don't need help from some male! Fine. <sighs> Clearly, I haven't trained enough. As soon as I escape from this place, I will return to Master and resume my training. Can at least say you're welcome. Tenko, good girl. Mm. <laughs> uh. Are you okay, Korokio? At least you had a face mask. How terrifying. And so, we have escaped from the maw of hell itself, somehow. That was a close one. I bet Kibo could have just shut down or something. Everyone! Thank you for enduring it, everyone. This is the last chance. Please leave the rest to me. I mean, don't kill the guy. That's what he wants. There might be bugs roaming under his clothes. Do the robots have bugs in their system? I don't know, he's got some buggy software. Oh. Uh -huh. This is this is this is moth impressive. You guys okay? You all look like drowned sewer rats. Huh. Cause you're late! Wait. You said you'd be back by nighttime, but it's already eleven PM now. My bad. Sorry. I ran into an unexpected snafu. But... But, look! <laughs> Cubs pads! Gotta catch them all! I even got the pads belonging to the people who aren't here. <laughs> that's... Well, that's not even fair. <laughs> now everyone can watch their Moda video. Oh my... We said we don't want to! How exciting! Well, it's late and I'm getting sleepy. So let's start already. Hey! This is a bad sign. Start what? Start hating each other? Start killing each other? Oh, don't worry about it, Gonta. 
Just keep watch so these guys don't. That's enough. That's it. I won't let you do as you please. Hmm? Ignore him. Go to sleep. Just leave. Exit. We already met the bugs. Huh? I also. I didn't want to use this unless I absolutely had to. It eats up a lot of my electricity. We must do but it. that's neither here nor there. I will stop you right here, right now. Huh? You gonna tase him? Kibo, what are you going to do? Uh oh, Kibo machine broke. Still glaring at Kokichi, Kibo slowly reached a hand behind his ear. Oh, and spun the mechanical parts there. He's lighting up. Is he gonna self-destruct or? It's just a disco light show. It's fine. What? Huh? What's that sound? One moment, please. I'm rewinding the tape right now. A tape? That's pretty low tech. What are you gonna play? You got his new. You got the newest eight track. The tape? Right there. Oh. Kibo shouted out and pushed his palm against his ear. That's when. That's when. Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? Was that my voice? Didn't sound like it. Sounds like this. <laughs> He's so simple-minded. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs. Or something like that. Could this be... Kibo, you beautiful, beautiful this? robot. You have a recording. You have a recording feature. You're a walkman. You're a walking man. That uses a lot of electricity. Someone should tell your creator to make that more efficient. Oh, nonviolence solves everything. Kibo played his spicy mixtape. It's gonna save our lives. Got him. Ha! <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think? You just saw my audio recording function for the first time. I'm thinking about submitting it to the record labels. What? Did he really just whip out an audio recorder like it's some kind of secret weapon? Actually, really? It's a cassette tape? In this day and age? Huh? That's what I'm wondering. But it's metal tape, you know. Wait, why? The sound quality isn't the issue. Mm -hmm. Let's just put this aside now. More importantly, it seems to have worked. Give. Coach Kichi, what do you mean? You not like bugs? No, no, go to that's not what that that was a recording. Oh man. Oh wait, you said Kokichi, not Kibo. Right. Yes, that was him. He no like. He no like a buggy. Man, now it's boring. Was it lie? You say we get them to understand how amazing bugs are. Was that lie? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. I love bugs. From the bottom of my heart. There's like a bunch of them in there. Ah, uh, it figures that there's bugs in your heart, Kokichi. All right. Oh, so it, not a lie. Then go to happy. Let's have fun with bugs all night. The wind is a... Why do you believe him? Uh -huh. Exhibit number one of Kibo being best boy. Apparently not good enough for Gonta. Kokichi's not doing... Kokichi better start running. Nope, he better start lying, apparently. Why does Celeste have a feeling that this recording will come in handy later? Because Chekhov's gun. Uh-oh. I never hung up with Kibo. Hey, bugs! Who wants to pet more bugs? Huh? Eh? Everyone! We must run while we still can. <gasps> Wait! We need to take back our Cubs pads first! Tenko snatched the Cubs pads from Kokichi. No. Ah! Aww. And we all ran out of the lab. Out the lab. Let's go. Go to punishment. As a horde, a swarm of locusts just gives chase. After leaving the room, I could still hear the muffled buzzing around Kokichi screaming. <laughs> just him. A body has been discovered. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. Cool morning. We're playing the nice music. Everything is resolved. I'm okay with this. It's fine. We're done. That, that was the events of today. 
<laughs> what did you expect? Kokichi getting karma is a relaxing mood for everyone. It's a cool morning. A good morning. We might be corpses by tomorrow morning. It's plain to see. Don't joke about that. What if it happens? It's just plain possible. Um... So how do we return these cubs packs back, back to the rightful owners? They never had their rightful owners. We should just destroy them. Jeez. Hmm. If only the mono cubs were here, I sure they'd help us. Wow. Oh, hello. Mono Dam. What's up, Mono Dam? Damn. He's a pretty good boy. Hmm. Oh, just you? It's fine. The others are asleep. If you need something, I can help you. Uh, um. Uh, uh. It's about the cup pads. Kokichi brought them to us and. I simply need to return them. You know, this might be even worse that we get our right ones back. You don't happen to remember the. The ones we got, do you, Mono Dam? Mono Dam. The defective one. He's the cool one. Mono Dam is best damn. I will return each one to your respective rooms, you bastards. Oh, well, yeah, that's pretty thing. What did you call me? <sighs> I thought he was nice. Ah, you left. Well, that was abrupt. But, but out of all of them, we can probably trust that one, right? Well then. Shall we go back to our dorms? It is well past nighttime. <laughs> That's true. We have the magic show tomorrow. You're right. I forgot about that. Because of all this, we couldn't do a rehearsal. But I'm sure it'll be a divine show. Yeah! Uh. Oh, we'll be waiting for you to come watch. Hmm. <laughs> we'll be waiting, she says. It's Himiko's show, not yours. Uh, um, I suppose it's all right. Tenko, let it go. You've lost her. I just remembered. I wasn't able to train with Kaito today. I didn't even see him. Uh-oh. Ah, too bad. We can do it tomorrow night, though. I got a bad feeling. It's not like I'll never see him again or anything. Totally. Never. No. Why is that so specifically... Oh, he's totally gonna die now, inducing. Danganronpa, can you be more transparent? Worn out from all the commotion, we dragged ourselves back to our rooms. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, there were some people I liked in that set of people that weren't in that room. Kaito, Mew, Kurumi, Ryoma, Maki. They weren't there. It's close to midnight now. Tomorrow is a busy day. I should get some sleep. I have a feeling that the, the magic show might be canceled. I collapsed onto the bed and quickly fell asleep. Oh, hi, Monokuma. What movie reference are you making today? I don't know what movie this is. Ahem! I need a miracle! You pray, right? While you're working, living, and gambling. But miracles happen every day! For example, do you know what the odds of the Earth existing are? The same as a tornado blowing through a junkyard and assembling a working car! That's a miracle! That's not the same. Also, your mustache is terrible. It looks makes you look like a like, creepy, creepy dude. That's why you're being, us being alive on Earth is a miracle. All kinds of miracles happen every day. Life is made up of little miracles. But whenever a miracle does happen, it just gets chalked up as fate or destiny or whatever. Tell that the Phoenix right. I guess the miracle never happened. Charlie Chaplin, I guess. Either that or Monokuma's being a, uh, being a uh, propagator of World War II. Be grateful for the miracles that have already happened instead of hoping for new ones. If you do that, you should be able to enjoy miracles, right? Phoenix Wright, dying a rope crossover. Did Maki escape Gonta by throwing babies at him? I... I don't doubt that would be something that Danganronpa does, and that's kind of sad. 
There's Mono. Wait, 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 wait. Who's missing? Someone's missing. Where is Mono? Is somebody missing? Wait, was Mono Kid in the last one? But he's dead. Huh. I, did I imagine there be f being four mono kum mono kids in the last one? Four mono cubs? Monosuke is missing. Oh, you're right. The New Yorker one. That's one. That's the one. Okay, okay. There were four. I'm just thinking that there were. I forgot there was. I we don't know why I forgot about him. It is now ah! 8 a.m. I found him. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's 8 a.m. So wake up. Okay, bye. Ah. Oh, he left. Monosuke is so impatient. He's been cranky lately, so it's making him impatient. <laughs> oh. uh. I don't like impatient men. Let's well, don't think about it. He's your, he's, he's your brother. I want to get along with Monosuke. All right. Ah. Stop it. It's a little oily, but I'll go ahead and do the nighttime announcement too. And that's that. It'll be 10 p.m. later. That's too early. <laughs> it's too early. Your patience is trying to warp time and space. Don't do it. You create a paradox. Oh. Okay, bye. Hmm. Just when I thought there's no more variations of that. <laughs> My heart. My heart. One time paradox. Later. I'm gonna end up in the hospital. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Survive. Somebody to perform CPR, it's less. Sylvian likes how it's different each time. Me too. It's not just a recording. Today is the day of Himiko's magic show. Magic show! But the insect fiasco yesterday, and now this? Do, do we really have time to be doing this stuff? Well. Well, I suppose I shouldn't think about it so much. I'll just go to the gym for now. Somebody's dead. Somebody's dead. I'm gonna say really quick. Somebody's dead. I don't like this. We didn't see Kaito. We didn't see Miu. Can 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 Miu survive, please? I mean, she's rude and crude, but she brought some 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 comic relief to the to the to, 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 to the group. Uh, save. <laughs> Miyu does have the plot. She is the woman's secret weapon. It makes going to turn red. I guess we're going to the gym. Let's go. Yeah, this way. <sighs> what could go wrong today? All right, Kibo. Have you seen anybody else? I'm very concerned. Kibo. Kibo. Why'd you say it like that? You're accusing him of murder? Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Shuichi. How are you feeling today? Are you sure? Are you still sore from the events of last night? If you know what I mean. Okay. Uh, I'm fine. Are you all right? 100%. Yes, I'm fine. I've recharged the electricity that I use on my recording function. Even so, I'm very happy that I was finally able to use my functions to help everyone. And now you might have outlived your usefulness. I don't like that thought. Kibo's recording function is not exactly revolutionary technology, but it did help a lot. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Kibo. You really earned your title of Ultimate Robot. Why did he have to earn it? You didn't believe him, Shuichi? That's robophobic. Well, of course. Well, I was nothing, really. If you ever need my help for anything, please don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> That's okay. Kurumi's probably got it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I sure will. Um... So, the magic show is starting soon, yes. Everyone has probably gathered in the gym already. We should get going as well. Yeah, let's go. No one saw Maki. Vinny looked away for one second and I say, You gotta be on top of this kind of stuff. You're a very prudent gunner, aren't you? Kokichi's the only one that could have saw her. Kokichi's the only one that could have seen everyone. So I'm guessing what's gonna happen is Somebody's already dead, and Kokichi is gonna be blamed as the first suspect, but it's not gonna be him. It's not. We're gonna go back and forth. This is not the gym. But he's gonna survive. Because that's what he does. He's too important to the plot. 
And you know, since the plot is important, Mew is gonna survive too. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Shuichi still has old man strength flashbacks. Tokichi did say he ran into some complications. I don't think that means murder. I think he's just bull crapping his way out. Linnea suffered for the longest amount possible. Where's the gym? It's not the gym. I'm lost. It's over here. Well, let's go talk to Kurumi. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. <sighs> Celeste doesn't has a bad feeling about the magic show. Please don't have somebody get sawed in half and then it happens for real. That's not magic. Magic. Ah, Kurumi. Good morning. Is it true? Can you fight off Gonta? Please be my bodyguard. Good morning. Everyone has already gathered for the show. Hmm. Ah, is that right? I suppose everyone's looking forward to it. You mean everyone, right? That is correct. Miu seems particularly excited. Her eyes were lit up like a child's. Oh, thank God she's okay. She's that o she's that excited, huh? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited too. Cook me, I mean breakfast. Cook me breakfast. Kiel really wants breakfast, huh? Oh, oh. When Kurumi's on the screen. Oh. Kurumi, give me a massage. Kurumi, do this. Kurumi, do that. Being too hard on you, don't you? Hard on her, don't you think? By the way, it would seem that some outrageous events transpired last night. What do you mean? Hey. Yeah, Kokichi tricked Gonta into going along with his motor video screening plan. But thanks to Kibo, we put a star to it. It's okay. I see. I see. So, Gonta, so Kokichi truly does intend to oppose us. Please, go No ahead. matter. Let's go inside. Everyone is waiting. Ow. Coincidentally, Kiel's also eating breakfast right now. Oh, I eat breakfast for every meal. Are you eating eggs? Egg. Yeah! Thank you, Sylveon. Erg. Ooh! Oh no, are those piranhas? PK fire! Chaos! No, it's not fire, it's water! This is not the time for happy music, someone could die! I don't like the. I don't like the. Uh, uh. Whoa! Ooh. This is even nicer than I thought it'd be! Please, somebody Yabba! escape. Welcome to our magic show. What do you think? Isn't it divine? Okay. Yeah, it is. I didn't think you would have a real stage set up. Did you and Nimiko do all this? No, no. No, no. This would be impossible with just two people. I got others to help us. Kokichi was a big help. Oh, he was doing everything? Instead of, you know, helping us deal with the bugs? Ooh. Someone's gonna get eaten alive. Don't count your chickens. I count one. Me. Kaito and Kibo helped carry equipment from Hiriko's research lab. I designed the stage with Karumi through the curtains. Thanks, B2 Everyone is so nice. Our tour deserves all the credit. The... I'm pretty sure everyone deserves the credit. No. Uh, shouldn't everyone who worked on it get the credit? Oh. Oh, well. I didn't ask you to help because I didn't know what you'd be useful for. Oh, That's... gee. Thanks. Uh-huh. Did you really have to say that? I don't know, I don't know. There's no Kaito or Ryoma. That's so bad. Ooh. That's pretty bad. I was gonna check as soon as it zoomed out again who was still here. Anyway, just a tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Huh? Done preparing? You're not ready yet? Uh, yep. Star of the show needs to settle her nerves. Star of the show requires mental preparations? <laughs> yeah. Oh, ho. Are you okay? Mia intensifies. Yeah. Um. Um. The, where'd the game go? Okay, we're good. <laughs> uh, 
just vibrates off the screen. Himoko, are you okay? She's shaking like a leaf. She's shaking like a... Well, I can't say it on screen. Oh. Um. She's fine. She's okay. Go to idiot. Himiko evolved into a chicken. Oh. Dancing chicken. She got a boulder badge on her head. Ah, poor girl. She's so nervous. Going to idiot. Going to don't beat yourself up over it because I don't think you'd survive it. Going to so sorry about yesterday. Going to not know why he act that way. Going to too forceful. Still have go. Still have long way before going to call himself true gentleman. Going to still have a long way to go. That's Ryoma's line. Wait, it's it's not your fault. It's Kokichi's fault for tricking you. Oh, Even so. Males. I think you still need to seriously reflect on what you did. Your gullible mind will eventually lead you down the wrong path in life. Mm. Going to be more careful next time. If there is one. Um. Uh. So, what happened to Kokichi? Um. After insect meet and greet, Kokichi's mouth start to bubble. Then he pass out. What? Oh. Oh, yeah. He was kind of in there the whole... I forgot we left him like that. He deserved it. It's fine. He's not dead, is he? Poor girl. P poot, poot girl. Poot is actually accurate too. Poot this. Kokichi fainted. No. Uh. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. He might not make it to the show then. What a shame. No, he's probably in the show. I wanted to be in there. Let's go. This is way bigger than I thought. I imagined a plane every day stage. Uh, I guess all the thoughts that I plain old head are just plain plain. Oh, it's a mogi. Just think of an anime or something that has this sort of thing. I'm sure there's an anime based on magic tricks. I just don't know any. So if there's one based on tennis. Miu, what is happening with you? Oh, what is this device? I've never seen something like this before. This is a first for uh, me. I'm getting excited. Really, really excited. Calm yourself. I'm gonna leave you be for now. Oh my! This is this is this is this is this. <laughs> what does Mio do to my stream? Tenko, you're trembling. I told you many times that Atua loves all his creations. Hmm. What do you mean, all his creations? That's way too much love. What about Madokuma, huh? Does Atua love him too? Cause Atua says Of course. Him. So you must love Madokuma so that our love will reach him. Okay. Okay, I don't think you have any understanding of what's happening right now. You gotta be kidding me. Shut up already. This is a Christian stream. I mean, it is my name. So I guess? Robots can't feel love. They can't feel any emotions at all. Not in front of the Kibo. <laughs> oh, poor Kibo. And yet, I felt a strange pain in my chest after you just said that. Robophobic. <laughs> you know, lately I've been having weird pains in my joints and my lower body. Are you okay? Isn't that a symptom of gout? How do you... Do we have a doctor? We don't have a nurse. Um, eat oranges. Well then, change your tune real quick. Maybe that was a bit too personal of information. Hey look, a ladder. No, that's a step ladder. What the heck? I can't do an ace attorney on me. Oh, hi Miu. There's a ladder here. I wonder if it was used to set up the show. Uh, Miu, TMI. TMI. Uh, give Kibo all the hugs. Hug the Kibo. Step ladder, ladder. Where's Maya when you need her? Way. It's a step ladder. You're not my real ladder. We managed to complete the preparations in time. I hope everyone enjoys the show. Okay. You helped out too, Kurumi? Did you do the sewing? You complete every task you're given, don't you? No wonder you're the ultimate maid. She's the best mom. But right now you're just an audience member like everyone else, so let's enjoy the show. Yes. Yes. 
I shall do just that. Um, she works so hard. Hmm. By the way, can I ask you something, Angie? Feel free. Oh, what? Um, um, when you're alone with Himiko, what do you guys talk about? Yeah. Oh, just normal things. So divine. Food, sweets, or nails, and how to get Atua's bathwater at a discounted rate. Hey! That last one's not normal at all. I know where to find a discount. Just go to Costco. Uh, Angie can be quite the handful. I wonder if Himiko can handle her. What are you implying, Suruichi? We don't talk at all. Oh, whoa. Oh? I'm... Maybe I don't want to know. This is a timer. No, it's an elevator. Does this... Does that mean this magic trip has a time limit? I'm calling it. It's gonna count down. It's gonna go to zero. And then it's gonna run out. And then nobody is gonna come out of the water. A water tank? It looks like there's fish inside. Is this part of the trick too? They don't look like piranhas. Maybe it's safe. Say. Those fish in the tank above. Are those truly... Where did they get the fish? It was hard enough finding bugs. Is it alright to use something so... Dangerous? Maybe they were meant for food? That is a good question. Maybe they were in Maki's room. Alright, Himiko. Could it be... They're magic familiars. She summoned them. Uh, they are, there were bird cages. Oh, was there, was there a fish tank in there too? I don't remember. Uh, Himiko, are you a bit... Nervous? Uh... I don't know. Whatever makes you say that? Just a little bit. Certainly doesn't look like just a little bit. Because the magic I'll be performing today is the ultimate water magic. Underwater escape act. I've never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. Um, have you unsuccessfully cast it before? I have questions. Huh? You've never cast it before. You got the boulder badge. She defeated Brock. Yeah. Seek a way out. No, this is not. This is not zero escape. And today, in order to raise the stakes, we got a cow and lifted it up. We raised the stake. There's a time limit. If I don't escape from the tank within the time limit, piranhas will be dropped in. I'll be pureed. That's not safe. Oh, look, even Penn and Teller don't do tricks that they don't know is 100% safe. This is not magic. Pureed. This is looking a little dangerous. This is not 999. The water is cloudy, so I can't see very clearly. But I do see fish swimming around. Is that swimming? Those are all piranhas, right? They don't look like normal piranhas. They are not swimming. They're pulsing. They're heartfish. Those piranhas were in my research lab. Angie said we should use them for the show. Uh, no. Wait. Piranhas are way too dangerous. Oh, you should use piranha plants. Piranha plant. Is this saw? Oh, we're playing a game. Uh, uh Tenko. Mimiko. Mimiko, please reconsider. They're piranhas. They're nothing like lasagna. I mean, that's true, but why? My magic. No need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas with my magic. That's a lot of bodies to discover. Huh? You're going to kill them. I thought this was an escape trick. Um. Uh, Mimiko. Are you serious? Maybe she should save first. Quick save. There's no way I can stop now, since I too was watching the show and all. No! Don't do it! Oh, this is gonna be bad. There's no such thing as Atua! Angie has brainwashed you! What was that? You don't believe in my magic? Well... What is this sad? Google Home, play Despacito. I... I can do it. I'm a skilled young girl, because I'm a mage. Angie set her up. She's gonna die. She psyched herself up and headed straight to the water tank. <laughs> of course.
I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend. Oh. Tenko. Emiko, don't do it. Get down from there. People are concerned. Oh. Tenko, just like a worrisome mother. Even more of a mom than Kirumi is right now. This is dead. I don't want to see it. Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? But especially, did you say your prayers? Mm. Yeah. I said my prayers and went pee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then let's get the show started. Uh, it's starting already. But not everyone is here yet. Maki, Kokichi, Ryoma, and Kaito aren't here. What happened to Kaito? I thought he'd be here for sure. Uh, I wonder if something happened. Please, please be okay. Thank you, Atua, for being with us today. Boo! Boo! You're supposed to thank us first! Yeah, boo! Yeah, ha, 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 ha. I present to you the mysterious, the miraculous, the amazing Himiko! <laughs> the, the, the magic I will perform today is the extreme water magic. There's still time. You can stop this. Uh, uh, underwater escape bag. Uh. If you would please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you. I, I see when it. When the timer above the stage starts, Ooh. Himiko will enter the water tank. Uh. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me... We'll draw the curtain in front of the tank. Oh, yeah, a trap door. It's fine. She's never going to go into the water. After 60 seconds have passed on the timer, a separate suspended tank will open and drop in a school of piranhas. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> After the piranhas have fallen and the curtain is opened, if by some miracle Himiko has been gobbled up, please give a big round of applause. Why would I applaud for this? We're watching a death. This is punishment. Where's Monokuma? Just kidding. It's a joke. That's not very funny. Are you feeling all right? I'm concerned about Himiko. She's not responding properly to Angie's jokes. Mm. Going to worry. Going to have bad feeling. <laughs> ah. Otto, uh, please protect him. <laughs> no! Wait, what am I doing praying to Otto? That's Angie's stick. Well, did I skip something? Well, I guess you could pray to some other god. Pray to whoever. Just make her safe. Yeah. Well then, <sighs> let's begin. The amazing Himiko's magic show. Amazing. Save, save Himiko. In her typical high-pitched voice, Himiko made her announcement and started the timer. Then she took a breath and dove into the water tank. Oh. <gasps> it's a swap. That's not her. Uh. Okay. I'm closing the curtain. Angie closed the curtains, obscuring the water tank from view. She's going to escape. Nobody booby-trapped anything, clearly. I mean, if anybody did, it would be Miu. You know, because she's an inventor. And not any other reason that she would booby trap. We stared silently, waiting. I clenched my fists nervously. My palms damp with sweat, knees weak, arms heavy, mom spaghetti. Kimiko is still not out! She went in mere moments ago. 30. W well, do you think she's alright? Uh, Gonta's starting to worry. Should we do something? What can we do? She she still hasn't come out! Are you sure she's okay? 20. Gonta can't take it anymore! I don't... Doki Doki. Doki Doki. Gonta cried out, leaped out of his seat, and then... Wait, Gonta? Ran up onto the stage. No, don't do that! Ah, shoot. Oh, you can't do that! We're still in the middle of the show! Oh, this is gonna mess things up. If the door's on top, is Gonta, like, keeping it closed by accident? B but if Gonta does nothing, piranhas will eat Himiko! 
Huh? Wait, that was not the line in the text box. Whatever. Um, less than 10 seconds remain. Uh oh. I don't care if it ruins the trick. Just come out. This dress is bad for my heart. Yeah, yeah the, the line said, if going to do nothing, Himiko will get eaten by piranhas. But the, uh, the voice actor said, piranhas will eat Himiko. Same thing. Uh. Himiko! No. Right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. And then, somebody's probably gonna die. Probably not gonna be Himiko. The bottom of the, of the suspended tank swung open, and the murky water and shadowy shapes inside fell straight into the water tank that Himiko was swimming in. Huh? Huh? Look! The piranhas! Oh! H hurry! The curtains! Open the curtains already! She's fine. Got it. I'm opening it now! When Angie pulled apart the curtains, we witnessed an unbelievable sight. She turned into Maki! What?! <gasps> what?! 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 We watched that happen! Right in front of us. What the? F Rioma. Uh -huh. I, 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 but he, I, uh, it, I don't like this. This is the water's all pink now. That is, duh. I'm not okay. Took us a few moments for all of us to even process it. But then again, perhaps we weren't trying to process it. Perhaps we didn't want to acknowledge it. It's it's fine. That is great, huh? N no. Behold. The Magnificent Underwater Escape! This isn't fake. Yeah. Ugh! A body has been discovered! Everyone, please gather in the gym! My, 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 my heart hurts. He was a good boy. He was a good boy! We had to, did we have to see him get eaten alive? Or maybe he was already dead. I don't want to know. But we're going to have to figure it out. She didn't even know. H Himiko, yeah. look, look behind her. Yeah? A body? In the gym? Then, when Himiko turned to look back at the water tank. Eh. It's just a body to skeleton magic. Yeah. Just tap your wand and he'll turn back. And Himiko doesn't have a wand. Uh oh. Uh. Uh. If we knew he was gonna. Oh, good. Yeah. A thin line divides heaven and hell. Brioma's body floating in the back. Ah. Uh. If we knew he was gonna die, he should have sacrificed himself at the beginning. No! Ryoma! Ryoma! I'm saying. For the second time at the Ultimate Academy, a body discovery announcement sounded out. But who gonna die? Ah! But that. Mm, what does that mean for us? It was somebody that wasn't here? Kaito? Maki? Miu? Those who weren't present at the magic show heard it and it came running. Oh, they just didn't want to see it, huh? What? Who could have done this? Uh huh. Goto didn't see him in there? Maybe the door was closed. What is going on? Ah! I don't know! I don't know what happened! 
We should break the tank, right? We gotta check what's inside. What? What? Break it? Yeah. Yeah, break it. It'll take too long to drain it by hand. Huh? Well, what would we even use to break? Go to punch hey! it. Hey! Go to Keyboy, you're up. Huh? Huh? What do you mean we're up? You're so dumb. Gonta, Gonta, throw Keyboy as hard as you can. Use that robot like a battering ram. Do not mock Who me. Who are you calling a battering ram? Got it. I mean, it's a solid idea, but it's mean. Gonta, throw Kibo. Got it. Got it. And I'll, grow, I'll help too. Please, wait. Now, wait just a second. We don't need to team up now. Uh. And now Kibo's dead. Great. Robot appears. Oh. The sound was intense. A wall of piranhas and water dyed red with blood rushed out. That's disgusting! Ah. We watched helplessly as the area flooded with water. After some deliberation, we decided to start cleaning everything up. That's his blood! That's his guts! That's his everything! However, I made sure not to disturb the scene more than necessary. With Kurumi's expertise, we were able to clean up enough to start investigating. Uh. Oh, um. his skeleton is just there. This is dark. I've gathered Ryoma's body and belongings in one place. Yeah. Kibo looks depressed. He was just used as a battering ram, so... He was just used as a battering ram, so I understand why. Now we almost dry as a bone. This is not the time! <laughs> However... He's been reduced such that he can be carried in one hand. How fleeting and fragile life is. Mm. Going to put piranhas in bucket. Piranhas all got big tummies. Going to think they full. Maybe we can put them back together. Uh. Ew. Uh, today Ryoma is fish food. Tomorrow he'll be fish shit. Oh, I don't want to think about that. Don't say such things. Himiko? Uh, that was brutal. That's even brutal than... I mean, Danganronpa V2 spoilers. Not V2. Danganronpa 2 spoilers, but that's a fair warning. That's even more brutal than, brutal than Nagito's. Oh my god. Bo, Miyu, get off the stage. Literally. Himiko, are you okay? Is this... This wasn't an accident, was it? Does this mean that the killing game has started again? Uh, how? How could this happen? You know exactly. We swore to each other, didn't we? We swore we'd never let the killing game start up again. Why? So that was all just a lie? You guys are all liars. All you liars apologize to Ryoma. He believed the killing game wouldn't happen anymore. Unacceptable. Your disingenuous tears mark you as the liar right now. Kill him! What? Oh, you figured it out? You got a pretty good eye there, Keo. Good eye, mate. <laughs> oh, hi, Monokuma. Hey! Welcome to the death. <laughs> Shut up, Kokichi. Shut up, Mio. Shut up, everybody. I'm in mourning. <laughs> Monokuma just flies now, doesn't he? Yeah, I, I kind of missed him. Hey guys, how's it feel now that you've got a second murder victim on your hands? Huh? Ryoma's transparent? Has my x-ray vision superpower finally awakened? No, Monokuma, this is not the time for jokes. That's not even funny. Father! I, I don't want them to suddenly start blaming Himiko on this, just because she set up the magic trick. This is, this is a conspiracy. <sighs> Celeste can only think of Angie and Kokichi as the suspects. I mean, it still could be anybody. I mean, we want to say Kokichi, but I have a feeling it's not. He's too obvious. The game is building up Kaito a lot. I don't. That's suspicious. And Miu is just kind of there. Father, you don't have superpowers. He's just been reduced to a skeleton. All right. Finally, I've been waiting for the killing game to start up again. That means we can put all this boring crap on hold and start playing the blame game! That's You're nice. ready to go, Mono! Uh, who are you again? The hell Monosuke! You, you should at least remember your own kid's name! Hey. 
Monophony, are you okay? Five. Four. Hmm? Huh? Are you counting, Monophony? Why are you counting? Seconds to barf town. No. Because three. I'm seriously two. Gonna puke one. No. Blink. <laughs> I will never get tired of that. Ah! Ah! She puked again! You stupid! What the hell are you doing, you failure? Dumbass! Listen up! We're here to make sure the killing game goes smoothly, capiche? They are so also, to keep me company and new mascots present lots of exciting business opportunity marketing! Oh, yes. Shut up, you failure! Disowning your father already. <laughs> How did Gonta not see Ryoma in the tank? Gonta was probably looking up at the piranhas. He was trying to stop it, right? Uh, fourth wall, meta. You know, marketing, merchandise. I do have a Monokuma plush. Dang it! What? Me too? Yoo-hoo! Hey, hey! This conversation is fun and all, but we really should get this over with! Cause Atua says so! But we need to start investigating or something! All right. What if Gonto was faking it? I don't think he's that smart. Not that he's shown. All right. I'll get the culprit this time for sure. Hurry up and give us the thingy. The thingy. Okay. The Monokuma file. You mean the Monokuma file, right? I... That's a really fast autopsy. I guess there isn't much to see. Huh. I've also investigated the cause of death this time, so read it to your heart's delight. What is there to investigate? Pops! Oh! This is sort of unrelated, but I got a great business idea. Oh? Yeah, that's totally unrelated. Got it? Let's use this Monokuma file to start a funeral services business. You know how it gets awkward at funerals when you start asking about the cause of death. And that's that. If you pass out Monokuma files, even the voice deaths will get a giggle out of the attendees. I that think don't well, think that's the reaction you'll get. Well, pops, what do you think? They're so you're so freaking cute. No. Huh? huh? Cute. The way you pass out late like, files is just so cute. Why don't you come with me over here? Again with the sweat. He's too sweaty. The tongue is too tonguey. Let's buy it. Pops is gonna lick me all over. Uh, I'm gonna would like it. She licked back, hmm? remember? Huh? Father's showering Monosuke with all his love. Hmm. Uh, you think maybe Monosuke's right? Maybe Father doesn't like us anymore because we're not hostile and threatening enough. Um, I think maybe I'll follow Monosuke. So long. So sad. It gets sadder every time. So then, in any event, let us begin the investigation. I don't want to. I mean, I'm, I'm sad. Ryum, we didn't even have time to mourn. So was he dead in there? Was he drowned? Did he die beforehand? If he had died beforehand, then the piranha death is irrelevant. But I can only think. I mean, if we're being at least slightly realistic about the Monokuma file. The only way to perform an autopsy is if he was already dead before he got eaten. He was just a body at that point. Just meat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This game gets weirder and weirder. It sure does, Gavin. Welcome back. How you doing? You coming at the best times. Hope you're doing good. Investigation. So it's really going to start again? Actually, I can't believe it. One of us killed Ryoma? Someone among us. How this happen? No more. Gonta, no one I investigate friends. No one I suspect friends. Then? Then? Don't do it. I'm not going to investigate either. Because you want to protect huh? your room? Maki. Maki, what is so important more than your friend's life? Because. You'll be fine if you're a shorter person. And I doubt a child caregiver would be much help. Maki! Wait, Maki! I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around and kept walking. What was that? 
The fuck is that bitch's problem? She's seriously not gonna investigate? Incomprehensible. That seems rather irresponsible. She's got her reasons. There's always, always somebody in these games that doesn't cooperate till the, like the last few chapters. I bet Maki's gonna be real important. Uh, Skibin's okay. What are these best times? Uh, not best times? Rush times? Rush times. Yes. Yeah, no, there was a magic trick. You missed it. Uh, uh, the, the tennis dude got eaten by piranhas. Y yay. Yay. She likely assumes someone else will take care of it. And I suppose she isn't wrong. But why would she say that now? She participated in Rantaro's investigation. The difference is the room. She has it now. She needs to protect it. Although, I suppose Maki has been acting strange lately. I've been told she spends all day in her lab. What's she doing in there? Jeez. Well, I'll have a talk with Maki later. For now, we should start investigating. Always I'm seriously pissed we gotta do this, but it's our only chance to survive. Right? You barely got here, Kaito. I mean, you have a right now that you know. But shouldn't you be, like, more confused? Yep. I'll do my very best to. No, you won't. Because... Goto and I have to work especially hard so we can regain everyone's trust. You right. Oh, yes. You right. <laughs> but we don't even need to investigate. It's pretty obvious who the culprit is. Huh? Definitely not Kibo. Him and water don't mess. I mean, maybe he is watertight. We just... Isn't it that he just sinks like a rock and that's why he doesn't swim? That's not that he, he can't not swim. What? Right? Ryomo's work was murdered during a certain little magical gir girl's show, right? Mm -hmm. So I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little magical girl. I wonder who it is. <laughs> but... He's a steel type. He's not super... That means he should be strong against water. But she's so suspicious that it seems not suspicious. Yeah. Yeah, yes, no. Right. But then again, she's made herself look not suspicious, so now she's super suspicious. Don't bust an artery, Kokichi. It's just stop thinking about it. Just stop thinking, period. Hey, <laughs> degenerate male. Jeez, shut up already. How dare you toy with Himiko's pure heart. You got Pure me. heart. Oh, we need that for the flip side. Super paper. You just said Himiko, didn't you? But I never mentioned her name. Shut You gotta be kidding it. me! Gosh, shut up, shut up! Himiko would never do something like that! I... I know her best. Right, Himiko? You've been stalking her the most, but that doesn't mean much. Kibo might be waterproof. Pretty neutral. I bet he's airtight. He's the new iPhone. No. Oh. <gasps> this is the part where you agree with me! Anyway. Himiko, can you at least tell us the trick behind the underwater escape attack? Uh, act? Attack. Because? The underwater escape attack. You killed him, didn't you? If we know how the trick works, we can try to figure out how the culprit killed. It's not a trick. It's magic! It's impossible. It's not possible. Huh? Not possible? Why not? It's magic. There's no trick to the underwater escape. Because it was my magic. Ooh. We're not going to get very far with this, are we? No, that's wrong. That's wrong. This conversation is going nowhere. There's the one I want. Uh, Celeste is now suspecting Kirumi because she helped them prepare, too. She made the curtains. You know what? I bet the trick has something to do with the curtains. Like, the curtains conceal a hidden glass panel that uh, Himiko fits inside. So she can jump out safely. Or something like that. Usually how these things go. There's like a second water tank. Uh, uh, it was a magic. <laughs> how long is that donkey-lipped midget gonna keep saying that? Um, Himiko, in order for us to save the, find the culprit, it's plain to see we need your help. Cut it out. Yeah. My answer won't change, no matter what you say. You're gonna I'm look suspicious mate. otherwise. There's no trick to my magic, cause it's magic. She's angry now. Angry bean. 
seriously? Come How on. long are you gonna keep that bullshit up? Mm -hmm. Listen, if we don't catch the culprit, we're... Cut it out already! That's enough! If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic! <laughs> <laughs> I'll use my Neo Aikido to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko. No bully. What? I'm not bullying her! It's her fault she's being so st stubborn. Hmm. Well, it's fine if you don't want to tell us. Just, I'll find out myself. Right? Actually, that sounds pretty fun. It seems as if... To solve this mystery, we must first learn the trick behind Himiko's underwater escape act. We must do it. We have no choice in the matter. <sighs> do we? I don't think we do. Himiko's not going to help us. We just have to figure it out ourselves. Yeah. yeah. He's right. We have no choice. We have no choice but to find the culprit who killed Ryoma. This investigation is to save all of our lives. Because we're risking our lives in the class trial. It is. It is, so... Shuichi! Things may look bad. Things may look bad right now. Everyone's blaming each other. Kokichi's not helping. Tenko was just agreeing with whoever protects Himiko, so that's also not a big help. Himiko's being stubborn. <sighs> it may seem like we're not gonna cooperate, but... Maybe... Maybe the, maybe the miracle will happen. Miracles. Yeah, well, what Monokuma was talking about, huh? Celeste is suspecting Angie, Kurumi, or Gonta. Angie did set up this whole thing. Like, pushed Himiko to do it. Which is suspicious in and of itself, but... If I put my meta hat on, that makes me think that Angie, Himiko, and Kurumi... Well, maybe not Kurumi. Are the least suspicious. Because they started this whole thing. And Kaito, I'm still flip-flopping back and forth. The game wants me to believe he's not gonna be around anymore. So that makes me think he's gonna live? But, he has no alibi as far as I know. And he was... The fact that he was so fired up after not being part of any of this makes me suspicious now. So I don't know. He's on my list, but I'm not sure whether or not to keep him there. Himiko's too obvious. Uh... What's up with the handcuffs? Uh... No, those were shackles. Uh... I, and I had noticed earlier that Ryoma has those on his feet. Well, had those. Uh, those were there. And Tenko, I don't know. She's just gonna. She's just. She's just going to be the Yasuo hero of this trial, I believe. Not helpful. Not helpful. I don't want to believe any of us did it because I want them to live. I st I like the set of characters we have right now. Well, I could like some more, but. If they don't, if they die, then I won't be able to meet them some more. So I still, I still want people to live. Hey, Shuichi, you got a sec? Huh? Huh? What's wrong? I mean... Before we start the investigation, uh, there's something I gotta tell you. All right! You're my sidekick from now on. Death flag. Huh? Your sidekick? You know... I'm more of a scientist kind of guy, so I'm not really cut out for investigations. But... That's a good quality to have from a, for an investigation. Listen up. Plus, the only stage fit for Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars, is the universe itself. <laughs> so I'll leave the details to you. Pave the path for my success. You mean do it for you. First the push-ups, now this. Kaito, it's making it really hard for me to like you now. But I want you to be a bro. But would you just let me do my thing? Uh, but... I don't know what to do as a sidekick. I thought I was it. I thought we were following Kaide's dream and all that. Don't worry about it. I make all the tough calls, you just gotta do what I say. I don't like this. He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? I mean So Leave it to me! I'll take full responsibility. Since you're my sidekick, there's nothing to worry about. Huh? Eh? Got it. Alright, let's get started. First we gotta check the Monokuma file. I could have done that myself. We are not keeping to Kaede's word. But promise her wish. Yeah, right. Kaito's making me his sidekick like this. Could it be? I'm 
scared. I try not I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about it. The pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Is he trying to help me? You know what, to be fair to Kaito, I haven't thought of that as a possibility. But it is super sus. Uh yeah, no. Mm. Hey! Hey, what's the matter? Let's check the Monokuma file already. Uh, okay. Uh, right. At Kaito's behest, I looked over the Monokuma file. Monokuma file results. It's magic! Oh. Three foot five. Such a small boy. Small boy. Huh. So that's the saying the only people who knew the magic trick would actually be Kimiko. Uh, Angie and Kurumi. Ah, uh, who would hold the There's a possibility that Tenko may have knew because she was Himiko's best stalker. How can they help her prepare if they don't know the trick? Well, I mean, Himiko could just like. Well, it depends who built the thing. I guess the tank was already from Himiko's lab? Or maybe they got Mio to help. Nobody said Mew wasn't involved, and she. It, if you think about it, Mew wasn't in the bug meeting. The bug meet and greet. So maybe they contacted Mew, told her to build the fish tank to her specifications, and that's why Mew was so excited? It. I did find it strange that. I found it strange that Kurumi said Mew, of all people, was super excited for this. Maybe because her handiwork has evolved. Hmm. And maybe Kaito is being suspicious and making Shuichi the sidekick, but maybe Kaito killed him and then he's trying to push the blame on Shuichi. Lots of places the game could go from here. The victim is Ryo Mahoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. The body was discovered in the gym. Oh, okay, so considering there's a picture of his intact body, he was already dead by now. The cause of death was drowning. His body was consumed by piranhas until only bones remained. No other injuries can be confirmed at this time because there's nothing to study. There's nothing to inspect. Oh. Uh, Come on, man. What? There's less written here than before. I got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Time of death isn't written here. Hmm? Huh? Remember. The previous Monokuma file indicated Rantaro's time of death, correct? It's gonna be hard to consider that because uh, autopsies use body temperature to determine time of death, and since he was in the water, he was kind of cooled off. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a good eye, Hector. I didn't even notice. I was too busy being shocked. He was he had handcuffs on top of his shackles. The victim is Rantaro Mami. He doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was in the library. The estimated time of death is 9 10 p.m. The victim was subjected to blunt force trauma in the back of the skull. For something, cranial fractures and other injuries were detected. But. Uh, Celeste doubts if Miu built the tank because she was too excited about seeing it as if it was the first time. I thought she was excited because it was her handiwork and she wanted to see it in action. Uh, the tank was just in Himiko's room. Okay, so she didn't build it. She was probably, she might have been excited to see, like, inventors are probably excited for magic tricks. There are things like trap doors and other engineering feats that can only, that have to be cleverly designed. I can see it, I can see it. But the Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate a time of death. What? Did, did Monokuma mess up? No. No, this was intentional. Monokuma told us that he wouldn't give us any information that would reveal the culprit. So maybe he died a long, long time ago. Like, maybe like yesterday or something. He Maybe he drowned in the pool or something. Doesn't say he was drowning by the water here. Thinking about it in that way, it implies that the information would be damning evidence for the culprit. Ah, uh, so that means the key to this case is the time of death. Well <laughs> done! There you go. I know I picked a good sidekick. I'm not your... There's one more thing in the Monokuma file that catches my eye. Ryoma's cause of death. It says drowning. But if that's the case, 
And we might be able to unravel the case from here. Monokuma File 2 has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your monopad. Bullet. Lol hope. Alright! What's up, Badanat? Welcome to the stream. Alright. Now that we're done with the Monokuma File, we can get started on the investigation. My first command to my new sidekick is... Investigate everywhere and find clues that will lead us to the culprit. Good plan. Good plan. Good plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was pretty commanding, as I expected. Ryoma was already drowning in his sorrows. Looks like he's got a long way to go. Uh, he's just like all of us. Uh, I am, I am, I am, I am, I'm, 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 I need time. I need time to process this. How could they just have the skull here? Like some sort of cartoon. I don't want to look at it. Oh, hi, Kurumi. Get down from there. It's dangerous. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I have time for the full investigation. And we've just hit the two hour mark, so. I think we're gonna switch games right now. I think it's a good time. So let me just save. <laughs> so I know I'm kind of leaving everybody on the cliffhanger over the weekend, but I can't stream this weekend. Well, if I do, it'll be like an art stream. So we'll have to figure out what happened to Ryoma next time. I'm a very prudent gamer. That's fine. It's not fine for me. I want to know what happened as much as you guys. Because I like Ryoma. He's the little tennis boy. He reminds me of my, my childhood. But okay. Okay. I guess... Mm, I think next time I play this will probably be on Monday or Tuesday. I'll let you guys know. And if you want to know... <laughs> uh... If you haven't already, follow me on Twitch to catch me live the next time I play this. Get updates from Twitch notifying you exactly when. Uh, if you ever miss the stream, if you happen to miss it, like if maybe if I do it on Monday and you can't make it, I also put my stuff up on YouTube, or you can watch the Twitch VOD. Either way, you won't miss it. You won't miss it, even if you come back a year from now. And you can also follow my Twitter to find updates about my stream. I will tweet next time I play this. I have marked my worms. Uh, so we're gonna switch games right now. If you're here for just Danganronpa, have a good night. But we're gonna switch. Uh, if you're on the YouTube video, that is. So, I'll catch you next time. Stay cool.